So a few tips to, to, to make your, your race, particularly in a rough water, a lot more stable, is uh, when you paddle and you do your feather, you take that feather instead of, this is a standard feather, take down your feet and doing right above the surface and across. Instead, if you're in really rough water, take it out here and sweep it across the surface. It's called a sweeping brace. So like that, sweeping across. Your leading edge is up, your hider plane the blade across the surface. It's a lot of stability versus having the blade out of the water. If you get tippy, keep that blade down. When you get tippy, you want to keep that blade down, do a hider planing across. And if I do a pivot turn or buoy turn, I'll use the same technique. My forward sweep it around on this side, sweeping brace, forward sweep it around, sweeping brace. And if I take the blade out or do this, pretty good, pretty good chance I'm going to go down. So quite often I see you guys take your blade out of the water and instead leave it connected. Sweep your brace, maybe a forward sweep, sweep your brace. Get this forward up pretty far without losing stability. And sweep it out across the surface. Hands are loose the whole time. The other way for stability, that's a great stroke. That's what I call the, the, the deep feather. Made that myself. Basically, again, instead of feathering the blade once again across the surface, and maybe instead of a sweeping brace, this takes more, a little more practice. Take a stroke, turn the power face first uh, facing the rail. With your upper upper hands holding the paddle, lower arms controlling it. Push the paddle parallel to the rail in the water forward, and take a stroke. Forward through the water, take a stroke. This is a feather. You connect it to the On this side, slicing that through the water. It's tricky because at first you might hit the board. If you practice it, it keeps it totally connected in the water. Once you take the blade out, you're less stable. Again, good for the pivot turn. Do it over here. Slice it through the water, backwards in this case, slice it through the water. Stability, get the, the paddle up, blade up. Slice it through the water like this, it's stability. If you take it out, you're going down. See a lot of people doing that, you're going to go down. Keep it in the water, sweep it across the surface, it's, it's big. So again, I'm going to do a sweeping brace here. Or the deep feather. Deep feather works. Another advantage of the deep feather is if you're starting the race, you got guys two inches from you. Everyone's worried about hitting their paddles. Instead, you can do your stroke. You won't hit the other panel. with momentum, get some speed up, and I cross over to hold the paddle right here. I'm also looking where I'm going to go. Hold the paddle the board, spin around me. Get over here. Get some speed up. Crossing over, tent the paddle, let the board spin around me. Then you get slow, you do a reverse. Go this side, get around the buoy, 
cross it, looking where you want to go. Let the board spin, and you're off to the races. On this side. At the panel, looking where you're going. Not straight ahead. Spin around. Way to do a 90 degree turn without much work. This is Rob Casey. Salmon Bay Paddle, for more instruction, give me a holler at salmonbaypaddle.com. Check out our blog, subtips.blogspot.com. Thanks for your time.